Magnus's wife was a miner, you know. Greatest prospector there ever was. When the Golem Hearts started failing, she was the first to head out in search of more. Problem was, most of the veins ran dry ages ago, and finding fresh ones to tap's only gotten harder. But she wasn't one to be deterred. She just kept digging deeper and deeper. And then the mine collapsed. We labored day and night to clear away the rubble, but it took us two months to find her. To find her body. Magnus has never been the same since. Where is he, if you don't mind my asking? Ah, yes, well, if he's not here, there's only one other place he'd be. Times must I tell you, the trolley won't run! We'd be better off dismantling the damn thing and selling the parts for scrap. Now piss off back to wherever you came from, and don't let me catch you around here again. What were their names? My son was named Skuli. My wife, Agna. Being here with them, it beats going home. Home stopped being home when I lost them. I thought to try and drown my sorrows. Somehow, the bottle's never deep enough. No bottle is. Believe me, I know. You've lost someone too. Not like you. Not my own flesh and blood. I grew up an orphan. So I never really knew what family meant. Not until I met a man who offered to take me in and make me his pupil. He was a kindly soul, always looking out for me, like a father. Not that I appreciated that at the time, or anything else for that matter. But I finally had a family, and then, and then I robbed a young girl of hers. I did my best to make amends, to offer her comfort. But the more I look back on it, the more I realize just how inadequate my efforts were. I let her down. That is why I refused to let her legacy die. In the end, all we can do is press on for those we have lost, for those we can yet save. And that requires your Talos. Please, Magnus. You are our only hope of reaching Nabath Arain. <laughs> what rubbish.
She's not gone. No matter what you say or believe, she's not. We can still bring her back. <laughs>